Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I invite here my colleague, Alexei. Hello, Alexei. Hello, Laurent. Alexei, I need your help because I have an IoT project where I use a Wi-Fi module. I use a Wi-Fi module for our Air Smart product, and I will need a multi-layer chip antenna on the board. But I took an antenna, I just soldered it on the, on the typical standard demo board. Mm -hmm. But I guess I will need some help from you to match this antenna. Sure, but yes, as you asking me, I will explain a bit about what is matching and what uh, our service consists. First of all, I made a small picture about uh, of your PCB. And as you can see, we have here a return plate or antenna and a signal line. And as you can see, here we have our matching circuit. It's very important to know that this antenna, in particular, it should not have ground plane below it. Check. That's very good. And now, let's see which result do you have. Let's connect it. And let's see. Okay, for 2.4 gigahertz is not the best matching. Yeah, uh, you are right. It's not good. It's, uh, it will not work as you expect. So, I have an idea. How about to put a capacitor here? Only just a capacitor in the signal line. Yes, that could be a very nice idea. We can try it. Let's save this result on our VNA and let's see what will happen with, if we use only capacitor. Let's put my prepare board with the capacitor. You will see. Okay. <clears throat> I would say this is very good, but not for Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes, you're right. It's very nice for this frequency range, but not for ours. Mm -hmm. As you can see, a matching circuit, it's not only one component. Normally, we are, we are using two of them or even three of them. As you can see in this picture, we have three different components. So. In our case, when we are using only capacitor, we have a matching circuit for different frequencies. But we need to go to our frequency range. So let's try to use inductance. I think it's a better idea. Wow, way better. Yes, yes. And as you can see, we have from 2.4 to 2.5 gigas and very good insertion loss. So it means... 100 megahertz bandwidth, it looks good. Yes, so it means that almost the whole signal is going through our antenna. So ADB is the limit for the good uh, uh, reflection, I say? ADB, it means that uh, we only have 15% of uh, signal loss. Okay. So it means that it almost perfect okay. for in, in your case. But Alex, I can imagine if I put this now to my board, it will be different, right? Yes, for sure. It means I have to come back again after I put my antenna on my own board, on the final design, and you have to rematch it, correct? Not only with your board, even with an enclosure too. It's very important yeah. because matching, we are doing matching on, not only for IPCB, but for environment too. Because as you can see, everything can change. We change environment, yeah. behavior is changed. So I promise I will not put it in the metal box. That would be nice. <laughs> But I will come back to you, and uh, I think you're not making just for me because we are good friends. I think we make that also for customer, right? Yes, and you can ask uh, our antenna matching team for match for your product, and we will like to help you with that. So I hope you enjoy it and you get some new idea. Please watch my next videos.